Okay, you leave the full screen mode with the escape key, and then you close the document in Acrobat, it is important. Otherwise, next time you ask in design to export, it will show you that document. It will not show you the last document, it will show you that document. <laughs> so you have to close the PDF document into Acrobat, Control W, or anything else to close it into Acrobat. So that's not really intuitive. People have to understand that in order to make that thing go um, disappear, they have to click on it. We'll deal with it later. We'll make another um, button interactive here. You will duplicate that button with the black arrow and Alt key. <coughs> okay, so. I will name it Shita Info or anything else. Okay. You have to leave the panel and go back into it in order to see. You have to um, deselect the object, in fact, and select it again in order to see that it is called now Shita Info. Okay. So let's put another picture into it. You double click on the picture, and uh, the frame of the picture is selected, and we'll go and. Uh, okay, we'll. Uh, okay, it's a little bit complicated because we already have the pictures. We cannot go onto the hard drive and replace it. Okay, so we'll do another way. You select the button, and then you will transform it into another, uh, a normal object group of, of object with this little icon. It is going back to object state, from button state to object state. Okay, good. <coughs> you want group, object and group. To remove the picture, you change the text. Okay. Okay, and I grab this little picture of Rita and put it here. Good. The frame must be put in the back. Object arrange sent to back. Good. Is it okay for you? So the, so the button that I created just a minute ago. Shita info the do no, no longer exist. I have to recreate that button now. By the way, if you have plenty of pictures to present that way, sort of ID card, there are some tricks in InDesign. You may link InDesign to an Excel file and it will do the job for you. Hundreds of pictures, if you want, in a few minutes, we have that layout, that sort of ID card layout. But it is for advanced users of InDesign. We will not see how to do it. OK, by the way, we'll do something uh, a little bit tricky here. Don't convert those two frames into a button yet. Just do it here with uh, the frame, uh, the rectangular tool. You create a frame on all of the page like that. You see, with the rectangle tool, you create a frame on all of the page with no background color and stroke color. It is invisible. And the button will be those four frames and that way when you click anywhere on the page the the info will disappear uh -huh. so select the four frames the 
large rectangle and also pictures, the picture of Shita, the text and the background frame. And you ask for object group, object group. So you have a large button and no, you have a large group. It's not yet a button. We will transform it into a button here with the buttons and forms you ask for button. Okay. And I name it Shita Info. And when I click on it, it will hide itself like that. 